Monsters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks, Basil Chapman here on this 9th of November, and happy birthday to all of those celebrating a birthday today. I've got a family member, and we've also got a family member in the TFNN team with Tom O'Brien. So happy, happy birthday, and everything of the best. Uh, we're looking at the, the S&P down five. Now, what happened here, and this is, uh, this is the, the whole psychology of the market. If you, if you look at the market as a, a test of, the uh, mentality of buyers and sellers, look at this. Here's the 200-period moving average, and we're going all the way back to yesterday about 1 o'clock. Actually, we can go back even earlier. We can go back to 11, just about where we are 24 hours ago. That 200-period moving average, the market dipped, and then it went above the 200-period moving average, and then it held it. It went to a peak F, pulls back, holds, 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 and then bounces up, comes back, retests. It keeps going higher. That determination was fulfilled when this morning at about 3 o'clock uh, Eastern time, uh, the S&P pulls back sharply and then all of a sudden has a spike. And look at this green nine period moving average. Has a spike, holds. I've got an alternate count here, F slash A, then a G slash B, and it's still holding. And you're thinking uh, after, uh, after so many days of – this is the Dow is still in a leg, A to the upside. The QQ is in a leg, A to the upside from the low that was made. Friday, uh, two weeks ago. Now what we're looking at is within the context of um, the bulls, they they turn around and they say, oh, this market just, and the bears say, oh, this is impossible. It's impossible. This is just, it cannot keep going higher. Well, what happens is it goes to peak C, and we're always looking for Ds in the Chapman Wave methodology, the uh, fourth highest peak, and that's where other things can happen. And right here in the one-minute chart, you get, this beautiful cup formation from the high that was made at about 8.50 pulls back. And if you look at the measured move, the vertical measured move of the technicals at that point, and then the technicals when it went to the higher height, 41, um, 41.13 at about 9, let's call it 9.16. Um, look, they, they make a little double top in the E-man. It starts to pull back. And all of a sudden, the stochastic, which is above 80%, suddenly goes under it. The 9 period moving average crosses negative at that peak F. This is that cup formation. I call it the drop bucket formation because what happens is it's like from this area, there's a backhoe that lifts up the soil and lifts it up, puts it into the bucket, and then plop, you know, the bucket opens up and everything starts to tank and it comes sailing down. And look at this. We go from 44.13 round number high to a low, uh, maybe as we're speaking, yeah, just about 43.89. Uh, here we are at 43.92. So what happens is that the disbelief and then the bullishness that, that, that gets kind of, especially when you go from this peak C to that peak D, even a higher high, and the technicals are starting to falter, that's where the bulls are just totally surprised. But so are the bears, because the speed of this is, if you weren't using some technical analysis to be able to get into a short position, and we have a couple of people in the den who did that, then look what happens. Um, it, it, the speed with which it comes down, and what does it do? It goes right to the 200 period moving average, holds it for just two, three bars, and then kaplop, it goes under it. Um, so, and now the... Um, Fibonacci levels that I've got in here are useless because we've gone above that. So this I have to take out. Let's just get out of it, remove. And also it's a little messy. I don't need it right now. Yeah, I guess remove. Yeah. Oh, no. What am I doing? Oh, wait a minute. Fibonacci. Remove. Ah, there. Why, why are there so many here? Just remove. Remove. No, I think I've made. I hope I haven't made a big mistake here. I oh, sorry. I'm taking a little time here because I don't, I'm I'm removing these. But it should have just said 
Fibonacci retracement. There, you are. okay, good. Um, and it's still more. Gosh, I didn't realize I had so many. I wonder why there were so many lines. I don't like too many lines. Okay, look how clean that is. All right, so within that context, I wanted to say the surprise of the move down so soon after the uh, so soon after the futures uh, had made a high, a new recovery high, so that when the market opened, uh, it was opening to a kind of a weakish market. So now let's just look at this. Uh, now I can go through all the numbers that I want to talk about what, what I see at this particular point. Um, so let's go through to the, go start from the beginning. INDU, oh, I said I'd do something, uh, I'll get to it. So the high yesterday of 34,252 saw the, the Chapman Wave inside track, we saw us go above it. Let me just extend this line a little bit. There it is. Go above it. And now it's testing it. So this became the repellent zone is trying to become a propellant zone, but we're still too close to it. So it is now a support level. And what I said to subscribers, we're anticipating a pullback. We're anticipating that this chance that the um, that this gap, the low of the third of November, the low of thirty three nine four six, that somehow we can get into that area. That's going to be the big test. And maybe go a little lower. But this is what I call in the Chapman Wave methodology. We often get this in the futures when at 8.30 there's an economic report or sometime during the day there's an economic report and you get a spike up and it's like a single leg up and then it fails and it comes down and takes out the left side low. I don't see that here because I see the stochastics flat at 94%. The MACD is expanded. The nine period is way over the 14. The 200 period moving average uh, the price is way above that, and that's at 33,078. They're tremendous support. So it's going to have to be a real dark news that the market doesn't like at all, and it just tanks the market. I don't see that right now. So I've had no choice but to call this a single leg A, maybe a peak A today, but a buy mode. And that, impl <laughs> that implies that we should still go to a leg B, then a peak B, and then a higher leg C because it's a floating net until it makes a peak. And then a peak C, and then a D. That's a really big ask when you've had a move of almost 2,000 points to the upside to say that, oh, man, we're going we're gonna to double the move. No. What happens very often, the greater the move up, and then the, the lower the next high is made. In other words, uh, let's go to the S&P. The S&P is probably making a peak B today. Um, no, it's a leg B, 43.93.40. So a little bit above yesterday's high, 43.91.20. So let's just say it pulls back, and then it makes a leg C just normally higher. So you understand that the Chapman Wave methodology says if you go from a buy signal to a buy mode, you should see four higher peaks. If it's upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode, it means that you should go to at least four. It doesn't say how high. You need other techniques to do that. So what I'm saying is I believe we're in a buy mode. I will only know on the, the where the V shape at the bottom of any dip occurs here to make peaks A, or in uh, S&P's case, a peak B. In the QQQ, it's the same as the Dow. Uh, it's just made a new leg A. It hasn't even made a peak A yet. It's still a leg A. And in the uh, QQQ, oh, that's what I've got. QQQ, IW is completely different. But let's go to the SMH, because SMH is in a leg B, and it's above inside track balance. A lot to talk about. Dow's down 74, SMH only down 4. We'll be back in a month. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Just as we're going through this, let me just get to a question that I had here about VSAT. VSAT is VSAT Inc. Satellite Communica Communications. I've, I've followed this for quite some time. at a very big arch formation from 2020, back early in 2020, uh, it ran from the uh, 26th area up into the almost 70, and then it came all the way back, held that left side low beautifully, and then I, I uh, put in a left side, right side price time match, which said that to the um, to July of 2023, you should try to get back to the 27th. It actually went to the 27th, but it never took out the left side low that was my target of 2510. Um, and it continued lower one while later, and then it, it continued even lower and lower and lower. It went down to the 15s, ran up to the 22s, pulls back with a higher high, I'm oh, sorry, a higher low, and now a very good move today, up 18% to 3.2. So John says, hello, Basil. I bought VSAT on that double bottom, and today it broke out 14%. Your opinion, if you have time, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So... I, I've drawn this in right now. I've updated the chart that I had earlier before. I had this as a move that could go to the left side high of, uh, let's see, 20, I think it was 20.80. 20, 20 Why is it not showing? There it is. Of 20, 21.50. And then we ran up instead to the high of 22.22 .22 on the 18th. Then it pulled back. I love this action, and what's interesting, I don't know if this is part of the XLC, am I correct, XLC? Yeah, the XLC communication service, because Verizon and um, AT&T, they were doing horribly. Then uh, the XLC hit the 200 p moving average of 63, and then ran up. It's in peak A, peak B, and you peak A. Uh, is that a, yep, it's a buy mode. And look at that beautiful, chat. Uh, I, I couldn't believe this when, I was looking at the major communications, and they were all doing just horribly. And other ones, maybe it was Dish, maybe it was 
Comcast was holding well. I don't know what it is, but it was holding so well when it shouldn't have been holding. It should not have been holding. Well. But it wasn't listening to me. It held well and it's still nine feet moving over, over the uh, 14 in the weekly chart. So this, I think, is part of that. I, I, must, I, I should check, but I'm not going to check right now. I just want to look at it because uh, VSAT independently has had a really good move. It hit the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart or in the 45s, comes tumbling down to the 14s. So I like this. Now, um, so you have got, you bought on that double bottom. Now, this is a little mini double bottom. So you bought in the 17 or 18 area. I love the fact that you did that, and today you're getting the result. Because if it wasn't today, and it broke under, it went to 17.10, I'd be saying to you, hey, it's making lower lows and lower highs. So this is really important. Um, the weekly chart needs a lot of work. So what I'm going to suggest to you is this. You've got the position. The question really is, do I buy? Do I sell? Do I hold? And as I'm looking at it right now, I'm suggesting in this market, and this fits exactly the scenario that I wanted to talk about, where the stocks that have just been clobbered is the only word. I don't know if that's an English word or whatever. We've always used it. Clobbered. Um, just smacked around. And now it's showing strength. If you look at Disney, I, I think, I, I suspect this is probably also in, uh, not satellite communications, but it's in the communications area. A beautiful move up today, right to the 200 pre moving average. And it's funny. I kept saying all week, is, is this the time to be at least starting a position in, in um in Disney, and I, we were focused on other things, uh, which seemed, seemed to be working out. But it was a pity because I want to build, be building for subscribers, building a portfolio that is in the other, in the other sectors, in the other stocks that are just, they were decimated, and now they're, they're working well. I wanted to talk about that. I'll use that moment now. Look at Shopify. Shopify absolutely brutalized 176 in, in November of 2021 goes down to 23. Now it's showing strength. And that tells me that in the, everyone keeps talking about the Magnificent Seven. Don't, you've got to learn to focus on the market. You've got to look at all the chess pieces. This is the area to look at. The laggards are coming on. So we could get a rotational correction in the general market, but we could start to see, you're not seeing it in the IWM. It's very specific to stocks in certain areas. So just keep in mind, so the fact that you got VSAT and it's working out well today, and if it's earnings, I don't know what it is, I like that. So you're in the, in the remember, in the magician or politicians, they wave the left hand, wave the left hand, it's the right hand that's doing the trick. And everybody's looking at the left hand, or the right hand, the left hand does the trick. And this is exactly what you're looking at right now. Um, so within that context, um, I love it. And it has another one, a D-Dog. Another one that many of us uh, have been looking at for ages, especially some, some, some subscribers that I know always looking at it. D-Dog goes from uh, 118 down to 79, 78. And it's trading today at 100. That's what I'm talking about. So we've got a rotation going on. You're in the right area. It the right stock in doesn't matter it's the wrong area or the right area but preferably the right area it's fabulous so let's get back to this so this is what i'd be looking at in this particular context it is just early in the day i don't know what the reason is for it to be bouncing like this i would keep that core position as long as i can but i'd have a trading position and this is given i want you to get to the 120 minute chart right here now, I know I'm spending a little time on this. Most people are not in VSAT, but that's not the issue. We're talking about analysis here that we do at TFNN for anyone who asks. Uh, and this is a question that came up, and I'm just going to do it. So you see the 200 period moving average is 19.32. It's way above that. So I would look at this and try to keep a core position and get a trading position. And the trading position says, uh, maybe I even have to go to the 10-minute chart. VSAT, VSAT. And I have to congratulate Jimmy in the den. He had a short position on the E-mini. E he sold it just almost within a couple of points of the of the high. And because I know that he likes to keep positions that are working, 
uh, congratulations. That was a really uh, perceptive and significant and technical entry. And uh, congratulations. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and there it is. C and yeah, this is D now. So VSAT is pulling back a little bit in the 10 minute chart. You can see it right here. I'm going to do Apple as well. I was asked if I could do that in the very short term. So I would say to you, just you've got to give it a little time because if this market does down uh, almost 100 right now, this is, this is exactly what we were looking for, for subscribers to the opening call. The S&P is down only 7. So there's a rotation going on. The QQQs are down only 12 cents, or 20 cents, sorry. Um, so what I... QQQ, yeah, 21 cents. So I hold off a little bit, but if all of a sudden it finds supports at 20.31, if we can hold above 20.08, that 20 cents from here, I'd prefer it doesn't go there. I'm just giving a scenario. If we can hold there, and in the 2.30 to 3.30 time frame this afternoon, it works its way back towards 20.50. That's the kind of action you want. And then I'd be looking at possibly adding uh, adding to that position. But meet that, meet the core position. This is a nice move up. I don't want it to be a one-off. I'll just uh, to hold, make a new recovery high tomorrow. Dow's down 100. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So I was asked about Apple, if I could show Apple intraday. So look at this. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for at least a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode to go to a D. 
that's the fourth highest peak or high. I can go E, F, and G, but D is where you've got to do an analysis to see is an instant restart for another A, B, C, D to the upside. This is not A to B equals C to D. This is high peaks and A is the first, B is the second, etc. cetera. Um, well, Apple was doing very nicely. And then at uh, 11, 9, so that's right here. At 9.33, it pops up and it goes to 183.55. That is peak D from the starting point, just above the 200 period moving average. And uh, it starts to pull back and goes towards the 200 period moving average, has a bounce to peak A, B, C minus because it fails. And it takes it out, goes to the 200 period moving average, hugs it, tests it, breaks under, goes over, it breaks under, and now it's plummeting down below it. I shouldn't say plummeting, but it's sliding 182.51. Look, he has a peak D in the five-minute chart. There it is. There's your down arrow. I'm just putting it in now. And here's your peak D. I can't put the down arrow just yet. I have to wait for it to go pink with a nine-period moving average. But there's a real good chance based on the MACD and stochastic. This is a 10-minute chart. So all of these things apply. It's the same thing uh, that we're looking at in daily charts, monthly charts. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Most importantly, you see how the green nine period moving average is positive, 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 still positive, hasn't turned pink just yet, but the five minute has. And that just says there's a good chance that at some point in the next hour or so, the 182.37 low that was made at uh, yesterday at 3, 3 of 5 in the afternoon, five minutes past 3 Eastern time, correct? And at 3 o'clock exactly, will be tested. I can do a left side, right side price time match to it, but this is what I want you to say because there's still too much to do. See, let me go through this. Now, I wanted to talk about the single leg A up, and that is in the Dow. So what I did uh, the day after the, mon the Friday low, we, Monday did not see the VIX index scream to the upside, but everything else was just perfect for a turnaround. I, I was a little skeptical, not in the sense that I didn't, I said on, uh, on Tuesday, this is fabulous action, but I had to analyze what the VIX not doing what I thought it would do on the Monday, whether that was the low on Friday, the low or a low. And I said, I think it's a low for now, but I love what's going on. And I wanted instead of what we normally do, we'd grab the Dow uh, in a position. And we still have the short position from the exact high. I haven't decided yet whether I want to get out of that. No need to just yet. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, to, a lot of evidence to be proven here to say that the degree of upside potential from here. That's what I'm talking about. So within that context, we grabbed Microsoft uh, at the the low of Tuesday, and we've run it up. It's it's been fantastic. I called it a proxy for the Dow Diamonds because it was about the same price. It was doing everything, but it had the Dow, the S and P, the QQQs, the XLK. It had everything that I wanted for this particular move, but it was still a silly thing not to just uh, grab the Dow, at least the diamonds, if not the, the three times long, and just ridden it up and said, OK, take me where you want. So in that sense, I'm looking at the Dow with a single leg A to the upside. Now, I just spoke about the rotation. Well, the rotation says that maybe it's time now in the short term for these Magnificent Seven or whatever you want to call them that have been leading the market up and really a big percentage of the key indices um, to take a bit of a breather. Uh, at this point, I'm only calling it a breather. And the question came in right here about the speed with which and the upside move in the 120-minute chart. Yeah, now it's flattening out. We start to make only slightly higher highs, but we are making higher lows. Uh, but now we're starting to stall in the S&P. So it's the same as your 120-minute chart, peak A, peak B, peak C. Peak C, peak D, E, F. Uh, this could be a G, uh, alternate count, G, C, C. So, yeah, uh, but this is exactly the time that you would expect it to be. So now what I'm saying is within the context of what we're looking at, uh, I just wanted to show you this particular chart to show the fantastic symmetry. Look at this SMH. This is the first time it's broken above. Uh, you can't you can't make this up. In fact, it's to find charts like this. This is a textbook chart of how when I talk about the tide and I say how do how do markets know 
about diagonal moves. Yeah, horizontal it was 20, it pulls back. You know 20 is the level that it can go to. And if it breaks out, that's great. If it pull, pulls back, you say, wow, 20. But to say 20, 19, 18, 17, how does, how does the market know that it has this fantastic trend line that never gets pierced? I don't know. I, the way I discuss it is that this is the tide, and the tide is going down. And the tide, this is the SMHs I'm showing you, had a move from 161.70. We are still short from 159, uh, just over 159. I'm making decisions to, to see whether or not we, we cover that. Uh, we've taken a little, quite a bit off, but uh, and we've had the SOXS at times. But anyway, so look at this angle. Blue is this degree of angle. I don't know what it is. Let's just call it, um, oh, where is my protractor. Oh, I can't find it right there. I wish I had the um, uh, trade station had a, an angle thing. You just grab it and you put the angle in. Anyway, so this angle is not 45 degrees. It's about 65 degrees down. Um, it then goes up at about a 45 degree angle and then it stops. Now it forms this inside track repellent zone. But wait a minute. When it comes down, it does exactly the same thing. This is your standard A to B equals C to D. But it does it not knowing that that is a beautiful angle of descent in the tide. The tide is moving down. It has the exact emotional response to the upside from this low, and it stalls at the inside track, but the tide is going down. So that means your resistance level is going down. And where does it go to? It goes to exactly the tide, lower tide, it's not going to go underneath because it's going to float. And it holds it at 136.10, and now it's gone up. And right here, it's in the Chapman Wave inside track. Now, it hasn't done the one-to-one -one in the angle um, because it's to the, to the right side. But it has done it in a slightly steeper angle, and it's gone a little bit above. I'll make this darker for now, uh, just so that you can see it. So yeah, you are inside track. So this is exactly the area that I would expect we're going to start to see whether or not the SMHs are going to reverse. You usually you get it twice, but three times. One, two, three. That's really unusual. Yeah, three times on the downside. So we'll see because if the S&P, uh, so the SMHs, single leg A up, nope. It's a single, it's a B, because there was a fractional high right here for peak A. But it's the same principle. But the stochastic's at 95%. That's fantastic. On balance is on balance is overboard. It could pull back. We should see a pullback very soon. The estimation is up 182 at 153.27. Um, and it's only a leg B. That keeps failed because the MAGD was good because the stochastic went over into the 90% area and it immediately came down. This is very nice. I think there's a change here. I'll be back to talk about this. It does that. 95 gets down. And I think it was a chapter. I think it was a about the single leg A. The upside, what happens next? The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, as far as I'm concerned, as long as the stochastic holds flat in the 90%, especially the 95% area, even though the on-balance volume is a little overbought, you could get a pullback. So far, this is really good action. And the fact that on a weekly basis, the week hasn't closed, you still have to wait till tomorrow's close at 4 o'clock. But it's above the trend line, the cha channel trend line. And you've got the Chapel Bay falling axe formation in the monthly chart. I think that the SMHs are gearing up to get towards the uh, all-time high of 161. I, there, there should be a pullback before that happens, and it should be, um, I wouldn't say severe, but it should be a pullback uh, towards the 149-ish area, and that's where I would do an analysis. Meantime, back at the ranch. So here we are. Let's just go through this again. So this is, so far, a single leg to the upside, but... The tacticals and the, stoch the stochastics, fabulous on balance volume is not even overbought yet. Nine is way above the 14, price is way above the 200. I like this very much. And I think the falling exclamation, I'll talk about it tomorrow, the technical Friday, um, is, is looking very good here for the, for the Dow. But <clears throat> if there is bad news, you've got a couple of gaps, and gaps mean nothing until you start to turn around and then you're facing the first gap. Don't even think of the second gap until you're one at a time. So in this particular instance, you've got so much support in the 30, uh, 33,800 to 33,700 area. Until we get there, I, I'm not looking at this as saying, oh, now you want to short. I just don't want to short on it as a very short term, yes. So, okay, within that context, uh, I'm, I'm done with that. The QQQ just is the same thing. It's gone above. Now you've got two areas of support. You've got the former repellent zone between 370 and 368, and you've got 366 as the yeah 366 as a nine period exponential moving average support. So that's good. And you've broken ab above the inside track, but the week is not done. We're watching this closely. So so far, this is very good action. Uh, someone said, "Could you just show us the Microsoft?" I, I don't want to get into that. This is an incredible move. 366.78 is the target. And what I had when I, I went, we went long here at 338 was that I wanted to break above that. It did it so quickly above the left side high of the 346 ish area. And now you've got a cup formation. I, I'll take time to talk about this tomorrow. But this is the dreaded H pattern that's making the beautiful cup formation, which says if you close above the arch high, 
there's a good chance you're going to go to just under, right on, or just above the previous all-time high, in this case, all-time high of 3678, and then you've got to be careful. I'm suspecting that this leg in the monthly chart goes to 366.79 to break above it to start a new leg, F slash C, in a monthly chart. So that's great. So let me just say that I think there's a, an opportunity here to have a bit of a rotation, and you'll start to see those stocks that you've got hammered come back. Uh, not all of them are in the Dow. For the Dow to hold up, you'd have to have some of them in the Dow. And you've got some really good leader, leadership in the Dow. Now, the next question came in. Could I look at the XLE? XLE is pulling back very sharply. Um, so here's the move that we would anticipate. It, it's, it's actually a little bit more. My eye says a little bit more. I'll just do this now. Why not? Because so many people use the one-to-one. -one. Now, the reason I like this is it's got the channel wave inside. Look at this. This is the falling axe formation, but it's also the up channel. And if it takes it out at a peak B, especially if this is A, that's B, watch out because it could do, in this case, the one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. So enough people are looking at this and I'm going to do that. There you go. So look where we are. Uh, I see there's a little bit more. Yep, it's a little bit more. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm getting rid of this because once it fulfills its obligation, it's kind of done. Now what we have to look at is where is where is support. And support, if I use the troughs, I don't have a trough. So the only thing I can say is that the low of this bar, the week of um, July, I think it is. Yeah, July the 21st with the low of 80.92. Is this symmetry? I can't even draw a symm symmetrical thing here. Yeah, I guess I could. Okay, so let's just do this. This is the Chapman Wave bar symmetry. Uh, it's not a trough. I'm just choosing a bar here, and I'm going to go to that high right there, at peak D at 93, 9360s or something. 93, I think it's 9360s. And now we're going to do the right side. Well, we haven't got there. So this is not going to work. It has to be longer, going out a little bit further. So I'm not going to use that. <laughs> oh, what I am going to say, I'll keep this there just for the moment. You see this arch formation? You remember the rectangle formation? Within that, you can get a very large arch formation. If that arch formation takes out the midpoint of the rectangle, be careful, closes below it, be careful because if it doesn't immediately go back to the upside and takes out a left side low, in this case, it would be looking out longer term, the low of March of 7536. That's way down. That says, watch out because the next key level of support, in this case, I can make it even a support much higher than that. Look, here's a, here's a channel line. Channel line says 8140. Let's call it 81. So it's just three and a half points. If it takes out that support level for the first time in a long time, it says, watch out because it could test the left side low. So in the energy sector, the XLI, the S&P Select Energy Spider Fund, has already done a little bit more than the one-to-one. -one. Yes, your dreaded H pattern. What's that where you go from you do uh, a move down? Here's one dreaded H right there. You take out the left side low, and it can go it can go one to one to the downside. You do it again. This is not one to one to the downside, but it's a pretty steep decline. And now you've got another one. So this is the third one. So this is just saying to me, it's better to say that 85.25, the 200 period moving average, is now the strong resistance. So you know that. The downside, uh, let me go to the daily chart. Oh, look at that beautiful arch formation. Okay, now it's much clearer. Good. I'm pleased I went to the daily because that was I'm, I wasn't getting anywhere with the other. So now we can do this. We've got from this low right here, you go across. I usually like to go to a particular candle, or you can go to the high. In this case, there's no reason why not to go to the high. And that is a little doji candle at 93.69 on the 14th of September. Remember, 14th of September. So that's right here. Now I'm going to go click. And all I'm doing is I'm using this as the plumb line. And I'm saying... All right. Oh, I'd already drawn that one in from some time ago. I just saw it. 
I didn't, I didn't finish it. Look, that was the support level that I drew in before. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, i got to remember these things. Remember what I said right here? This is back. I remember it distinctly now. I forgot all about it, but now I'm going to remember it. Look, what did I type in there? Unconventional Chapman Wave flat base restart to the 84s. And we were up. And now I can't remember exactly where I typed it in. I'm not sure if we were there, but we, I remember it was something in the 87 area. Well, we ran all the way to 93.69. And what happens? We came back down. And what did we go to? We went to 85.73. Not bad. Didn't quite. The, uh, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Oh, 84.26. I knew it had taken a while. It took it out. Now you've got your second one. Oh, I'll do a little bit more when we get back. XLE is going down. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So I had a quick question here. Uh, Basil, the XLE is not doing well yet. WFRD is approaching a new high. Weatherford has been a great position for me. Interesting. So Weatherford, I'm thinking Weatherford, I remember that name from the oil service. Yep, it's oil service. It does equipment and servicing for the oil and gas, natural gas. So natural gas is doing horribly, and yet Weatherford is up there. But it's the equipment and services. So that's, you remember, that's always late. That means you, it's like Syntas where you have to, you have to, um, make a contract and that contract just goes on and on until it doesn't. 
so I think that's the so we're looking at two different things. I'll I'll get a little more into that tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, let me just say yes, I agree, and that's what I'm saying that even within sectors that have been beaten down, uh, XLE, they are beaten down. Things of some things are working. So the way I'm looking at this, there's a left side right price, right side price tie match, which says. I, I'll go into this unconventional Fred base tomorrow, uh, restart tomorrow if I ever remember. Uh, XLE, XLE Friday. Okay. Um, and it says that based on this technique, there should be, how am I doing for time? Running out of time. Doesn't matter. We'll finish this up. So, based on this technique, I would say to you that from this level here, that sometime. This is a daily chart. Sometime next week, it could take a little longer, but we should be te testing the 81s. All right, was it 83.24? It's pulling back. That's what I'm looking at for the XLE, and then you have to assess. So that's that's what I'm looking at for the moment. But the weekly, monthly chart says it's just a rectangle trading in a trading range, but that's a wide trading range. All right, here's the other thing I wanted to mention. So right, did I have a chance? Let me just do this real quickly. Oh, there's always so much to do. So look, here's the, oh, that's Apple, so it's bouncing back into the X -E -E -E. I just want to tell you that going into the 3 o'clock time frame today, if the Dow is only down 40 points or so, that's very good action. If it accelerates, it says tomorrow could be a very weak session. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Uh, check out Mobile Report.